Amen. I want us to pray for ourselves this morning. Uh, as part of our outline and guide, it is essential that we ask God for fullness. It's essential for us to ask God and bring into remembrance to God that God should renew our minds and to give us direction with the help of the Holy Spirit. I want us to pray in line with our scriptures for the month, the book of Psalms chapter 85, verse 6. Psalms chapter 85, verse 6. The, in the English here says, Will you not turn to us again and give us new life? Then your people will be happy and praise you. King James Version says, Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? I want us to pray and ask God, Heavenly Father, revive me. Revive me again, O Lord. Revive me again, O Lord. In the last couple of weeks, um, in my community, we have been interacting on, on getting close and staying close to God. And I've been I've been trying to do some inner search in my in my own place and standing out for me that I think we need as a community as well. I know we have we have been speaking into this for a number of days this month, and that is standing where God is. The whole essence of our life of coming together to do all of this that we are doing is to uh, have God glorified. And secondly, for us to have a relationship with God. And just like the scripture says uh, in the book of Genesis chapter 6, making reference to, uh, am I correct, Genesis? Just a minute. In the book of Genesis chapter 6, I, I think where God wiped out the world, asking Noah to build the ark. And specifically as part of the instructions that God gave Noah was to ensure that he sealed the ark within and without. As we ask God for revival, I was sharing with my brothers yesterday um, on a prayer call and references was made to how God gave instructions and how we should take the instructions of God very seriously because they are the th things that will sustain us in the journey. His instructions, he will not change. The way he manifests may differ to situations and circumstances. It does not change the standard of God. And so when God gave nor the instruction to build the ark in specific dimensions, height, width, depth, in partitioning, even in the color, the type of wood to be used, the inches and the and, and whatever meters. God ensured that these things are done to withstand the storm, the impact on rocks the impact on logs of wood that, 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 that will be falling or that, we, that, 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 that will fall as a result of the flood that will happen. Noah did not know the extent of flood. And there's never rain from the top, like from above. But this period, God knew what was coming. And that is why revival for us, I believe, is very key. And so when God talks about revival, we have been taught thoroughly in this community that it is not the rising and falling thing. We fall today, we rise again. That is not the essence of revival. While I was looking at this, revival comes to me as that steps that I, the step that I need to take as a result of um, if I have stayed on this level of work for a while, God says, wake up. This is where I am now. 
He revives us, re energizes us, strengthens us, gives us a new direction. And then he says, Come meet me here. This is where I am right now. Seeing revival from that dimension helps us to keep our focus, keep our staying, keep our gaze on God. And we are able to see beyond the immediate. If this is what my oversight will always say, if God said this to you yesterday, are we checking with him to know if the way he wants us to do what he asked us to do yesterday is the same way that he wants us to do it today? The instruction has not changed. God has not changed. But that sense of realignment, reawakening, that sense of us coming to the place where God is at every point in time requires a rejigging, shaking up. And we must not cease to desire this in our lives as believers and as servants of God. And so God said to Noah, you should seal the inside and seal the outside. Block leakages from within and seal the ark from outside so darkness does not seep inside. As we walk, as we as we journey in this season, we are asking God for revival, to revive us on all fronts, to revive us in all ways, in all situations and circumstances. We are asking for this so that our life is consistent with what God is doing. When the flood came, God shot Noah in. God shot him in. Noah no longer could make any modification to the ark, just like we can no longer make modifications to our lives because we have yielded it to God. But God is saying, before we move on, at this point of revival, put the seal inside. Put the sealant inside. Whether it is black, whether it is white, put the sealant. What are the sealant? Put the cautions. Put desert these things that I don't want. Move away from these things, unhealthy habits, unhealthy attitudes. Put them off, seal them inside. I was sharing with the brothers like this guys earlier. I don't know how where the illustration came from. The wine bands, all these um, wooden wine bands that uh, that are used in wine presses. They don't use drums. They use wood, choice wood to create the drum that the wines are kept in. And you know what happens to the wine? The longer they stay in those in, in, in the barn or in the barrel, as the case may be, the longer they stay in the barrel, the better they become. Because you shut them up inside. Just like God is shutting us up in the ark. We shut the wine up. And they are not the 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 praise God. The the wine barrels are not straight wood. They are planks. Maybe in their four inches, four inches wide, and then maybe uh, four or five feet tall in height. And they were they are conditioned with ring. If you don't do it properly, it will leak. They are conditioned with they are they are put together. They are they are closely knitted with iron rings until that time until that time that they are fully fashioned to be able to take in the wine. So they are sealed in and out. You see they are stacked in a place and kept in the dark. Unless otherwise you want to come and test. Some, some, some wine press today, you go there, you can, still, you can still fetch your wine that have been kept there since 1977. They just open the tap for you like this and you taste. And you're like, mm, this is the kind of life that God has called us into this season. Hence the call for us to accept the shaking that God is giving us this time. It may be difficult. It, in fact, it will be stretchy. 
it will be a great demand on us. I was, I was telling myself all of these things this morning while I was attending to the children. And God was telling me that now, every verse that you read, you need to be making a very great note about it. It's going to be a stretch for me. It's not just what I understand part-time as I go and I pick the scriptures I'm reading and God is saying this, 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 and then I'm just working with that. And there, God is saying there is more. There is more that I want to share with you. By the grace of God, as we continue in this journey, you see, this year is to a wealthy place. And it is not a mistake that all the dimensions that God has has brought us into from January up to this moment of revival. It is not a mistake. It is God revealing to us that this is how I want you to walk. This is the posture I need you to take part time with me. And I want to encourage us by the message of God that we cannot allow ourselves to stay down anymore. We're in a good place, if you ask me. But there's a better place. And that is why we need to be revived. We need to be restrengthened. We need to take the glucose so that we can jumpstart where we are currently gliding and take it a step higher. And take it a step higher. See, God is not waiting. God is not waiting. My pastor was sharing with us yesterday. He said, God will. God will not, in as much as God wants everybody to be on the train, but God cannot wait forever. He brings replacements. He does not abandon also. But for every level that he wants things to be activated, he brings another person if we are not fully primed for them. Our revival is key. Prayerfully, in the study of the word of God, even in the speaking of the word of God, in exhibiting the word of God, in showcasing the strength and the power of the word of God, we need to come up higher. We need to share more of the word of God. We need to reach out more. What God is doing in our lives, that is the, that is the greatest example that we can set for anyone that we want to invite into the fold, for anyone that wants to see us as special, for anyone that wants to see us as, I want to invest in this person, they must see. The world wants to see. Revelation, the world wants to see. If they are not seen, they are not moved. Jokingly, just like men. If the world does not see, they are not moved. It is we that God has chosen at this time that despite the fact that we did not see, we have believed and it is working for us. And so we are the signpost, we are the ensign, we are the we are the display board, the LED screen that they want to see and say, ah, I want my life to, to come up to measure like this man, like this woman. Revival is key for us to be where God is at every time. When God makes critical changes in how he wants to achieve things, as believers, we must be available to make the switch. This speaks to our hearing. PI was, um, was challenging us uh, in one of the uh, school, of, uh, school of ministry one of these days. And we're saying, can we exercise these things that God has deposited in us? And I was, it was, it was so amazing for me that um, I don't know if it's okay to use the word. People hit it like there was, there was level of accuracy that was coming. It's my first time of experiencing that, you know. And I am still, I am still basking in the. In the need for me to to rely on God to be able to to bring my sense of perception of what God is saying part time to bear. These are the these are these are revivals. These are revival indica, indica, indicators or indications as 
we want to look at it. So it is not the only goal. Um, Bryce was sharing with us one of these days that it is not what we start now and revival is in the hall. No, it, the hall is not where the revival is needed. The revival is what we take with us. The people see us and they say, mm, something has changed. Ah, mm -mm. you will not say this yesterday. What happened? What changed? There is a realignment. There is a, there is a straightening that has happened. And the Lord will help us as we journey on, as we continue to seek to please God, as we continue to, to surrender unto him. There are some times that we probably have surrendered and then we have withdrawn our surrender and then we are saying, oh, Father, I'm surrendering again. We need to come to consistency. See, Noah built that hack with a proper and absolute consistency. For the number of days that the ark was floating, Noah did not even know where they were headed. He was just going. Surrender. He was just going. And until that time came, that God settled the ark on the mountain, a new life began. And that is the essence of our revival. A new life began. All together. Because that is where God is. And God saw that the world was wicked. Decided to change location. Said, this is where I'm going next. I'm going to make this happen. So that what I want to see for the world can be battered. And the Lord will make us a worthy fit consistently in this dimension, in this mission that, that God is embarking on in our generation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. We are grateful for what you are set to do. We thank you because we will not, we will not be rebellious against our stretching. We will not be rebellious against the remolding that you are taking us through, that bending, that reshaping, the rings you are putting around us right now to make us come into form, to tighten us so that we will not leak virtue, so that we will not leak strength, so that we will not leak honor, so that we will not leak acceptance from your presence and the ceiling from the outside they may look rough, they may look smelly, they may look demanding. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are doing all of these things so that we come out better and finer by the day. Accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, that at no point would we reject what you are doing in our lives. At no point will our needs override what you are doing in our lives at no point with the lack of things that we think we need will override your need and the things you're pouring in us in the mighty name of jesus above situations negatively straight uh, straining circumstances we ask oh lord that we are enabled in this season to stay strong to stay focused, to stay fixed on you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the end, O oh Lord, we will come, we'll come out strong, come out useful, come out relevant in the schemes of things that you are doing in this generation in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray every man and woman that you have prepared for the UK edition of When Friends Pray, we pray, O oh Lord, that you prepare them thoroughly and that your move will be felt in this gathering in the mighty name of Jesus. Every journey is secured by your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Every instrument is covered with your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. No voice that will be uttered will be the voice of man, but that that comes from your throne for revival 
during and after in the mighty name of Jesus. No one shall fall heal. No one shall fall sick during and after in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask for provisions to be made available. The gates are opened, O Lord. Let there be inflow, inflow of help, inflow of volunteers in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask the spirit of men are prepared for this day in the name of Jesus, regardless of color, race, location, we are joining from online, people that will be joining physically, we ask, oh Lord Jesus, this morning, as a family and as a community connected to this mission, we pray that it is done in the name of Jesus. Your name is glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because this and more you will do unto us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. You can join uh, the 9 a.m., the 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and 9 p.m. watch using the same link. And we'll pray that at every point in time, the Lord's name will be glorified in the name of Jesus. And our life, our spiritual life will be edified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everyone, for joining the call. And the Lord will uh, bless us and we'll have a very great and fulfilling day. In the name of Jesus, amen.